Hi everybody, it's Agnes and this is a viewer question time. This is from Anna. Anna says, first of all, I love your videos and I'm really thankful for your wisdom, which is benefiting me and several others like me. I have a few questions regarding the concept everyone is you pushed out. Will you please shed some light on these on a YouTube? So the first question says, in a video with Dan Radio Star, you said it's not exactly a mirror thing. So how does that exactly work? It would be great if you could explain it more. For example, if one specific person feels that he or she is not over their ex, then what might the person be projecting to get that response? Well, yeah, no, it's not like a mirror. So what I meant by that was, if you're saying to yourself, the person that I'm with is nasty or stubborn, that's the one that comes up a lot, it doesn't mean that you're being nasty or stubborn. It's not like a mirror, okay? What I'm saying was that if, in this case, I'm gonna use your example, if someone isn't over their ex and you're in a relationship with that person, then you must have the belief, I'm not a priority. I'm not important, I don't matter, I'm not good enough, I'm not deserving, I'm not worthy. I'm second best, I'm second best, I'm not a priority, I'm second best, I'm second best. So not saying again that you have all of those, but you would definitely have some of those to bring that situation to you in that form. Okay, remember you're always a perfect match to it. So on that note, I wanna read you something that uh, Bianca said. Bianca's a person that I have had contact with, and this is very, very, very well explained, and I, have asked if I could read it to you because it's exactly how I would explain it but it's very concise and in simple words okay okay probably you have some negative beliefs that you are not even aware of in my humble opinion everyone is you pushed out doesn't work like a mirror it works like a boomerang okay so what you send out is what you get so if you're thinking something about someone else like this person's nasty or they don't treat me right, or why do they always say that to me, or they're always criticizing me. If you're thinking that about them, then they act that way towards you, as in they criticize you, they treat you with disrespect, they're, they reject you, they put other things in front of you, especially the I'm not a priority and I'm second best, you end up being not a priority and you end up being second best to someone or something someone's addiction someone's ex-girlfriend someone's mother someone's sister someone's sports whatever it is okay so that's the answer to that first one and next number two everyone has their own experience from their life and if i meet a person who is negative because of his or her past then how am i projecting that negativity well, it's not that you're projecting that negativity, it's that you're a match to someone who's complaining and who's negative, okay? So, which means that you have the belief people are negative or I'm surrounded by not very happy people or why do I always have complainers around me? And you project something about people and then you attract people that match that, you see. Okay, so you've said here, it means that the other person has no responsibility whatsoever. No, it's not that they have no responsibility. Is it, the question is, why are they around you? You're the common denominator. If you weren't a vibrational match, they wouldn't be around you. You would be some other location, you see. So ask yourself, why am I here around someone that's like that? What is it in me? It's like you have beliefs that match being around negative people, okay? So, and the more you notice it, the more you're around it, the more you feel resentful about it, the more you feel, I don't want this, the more you think, oh, you know, then you keep attracting more of it, you see. So, it doesn't mean that the other person has no responsibility, but the fact is they could be negative way over there away from you. But the fact is, why are they doing it around you? Why are you attracted to being around this person that's like that? Because you're the common denominator that has beliefs about being around people like that 
even though you might uh, not like it and it might not be comfortable, it's probably familiar. Okay, familiar is in from childhood. Okay, so you've asked, does it mean that I'm also a projection of their perception and hence my actions are responses to their beliefs? So does it mean that I am a projection of their perception? Yeah, can be. I mean, how often do you see takers and givers together? Someone who's an overgiver is often around someone who's an overtaker. It's a balance. It's a balance like that. But it's not like this. It's a balance though, nevertheless, you see. Okay? So, now you've asked, uh, I'm also a projection of their perception and hence my actions are responses to their beliefs. Yes, that's right. Number three, also if someone is manifesting an SP and doing all the techniques and practices of self-love and living in the end, so since we consciously brought that person into our lives, do we have to keep doing all the stuff all our life to be with them or the moment we stop practices except for self-love, it all goes away? Well, not necessarily. Once you get to the point where you can maintain it without doing all the practices, you can start to feel loved without saying all the time, I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm wanted, I'm wanted, I'm wanted. You just feel it, know it, believe it, and that's part of who you are. Um, is it good to keep doing it for maintenance? Yes, because often people slide back into their old ways. So it is a maintenance in some description. Do you have to do it at that level all the time? No, because you do over time feel better and better and better about yourself and you can maintain the state. Okay, so so no, it doesn't all go away unless you drop back to all your needy, unself-loving, addictive, you know, where you don't look after yourself enough, where you don't uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually look after yourself enough, you start looking at someone else to do that for you and therefore it becomes back to what it was because you've defaulted back to your old things your old ways of behaving your old ways of thinking and then your old emotional responses okay number four since everyone is you pushed out so what if one decides to let go of this this p and try to manifest a general beautiful relationship then how do we know that he won't bring back the same person with a different face well you don't know until you meet the next person and of course you've got to get through the honeymoon phase because the honeymoon phase you always feel good and it's easy to have a good relationship but it's once you've done six months or a year with someone or 18 months then you see the cracks appear and that's when you've got to do the work because you go back to noticing things that are wrong with someone things inconsistencies they're not giving me enough you start doing your old stuff around you know they're always out with their friends or they're father's interfering or you know whatever it is and you start noticing things and then you introduce that into your thinking and your emotional body and then you start getting more of it so it's about pulling away from those things before they start to take root and before you water them for too long okay so now you've said uh, what's the rest of that question then how do we in how do we know that he won't bring back the same person with a different face? Okay, I've answered that. Does this mean we should keep on trying this person rather than letting this go, working on themselves and let the universe bring the right one to him? Well, it doesn't matter whether you go for a new one or an old one. It doesn't matter because you're the common denominator as to who you're attracted to. So whether you're with the, an ex, whether you're with a new one, whether you're taking some time out, it, it, you are going to get who you are all the time. You get a reflection of who you are on the inside, okay? Anyway, I hope I've answered your question, Anna, and <laughs> it's getting a bit dark here now outside. So I will see you in the next YouTube. Good question. I'll put the viewers questions playlist down below for those of you that haven't seen it. Ciao, ciao, everybody.